Hey guys, Shirtless Curtis here. Just wanted to let you know that YouTube has been on a blockathon again, blocking our videos. So if you enjoy the anime reactions, the reactions to the TV shows, cartoons, all that stuff, please just check out the Goosh, our Patreon. Got tons and tons of full reactions over there and we really have a good time. If you got a second, check it out for me. Okay guys, here we go with some more wrestling. <laughs> I, I, I love these videos. Now, this Tap Out Corner seems to have a lot of really good stuff here. And this compilation is called Worst Acting Moments in WWE. Now, I'm really interested in it just because I, I enjoy this stuff like many of you do. But beyond that, I, I'm curious to see how many of these... Listen, it's it's a thing with wrestlers between trying to make each other crack, make each other break, laugh during matches, during promo spots, whatever. A lot of times in the ring... Bad acting can be on purpose because we'll do it just to humor ourselves and one and one another. So it'll be interesting to see how many, and there is some legit bad acting as well. How many of these will be actual bad acting? And if a good selection of them are just the boys on Raw in playing Rock games. got ambushed by Sheamus and Batista. Luckily, Mark Henry is there to make the save and even the playing field. However, Batista's reaction was a bit delayed, yeah. and he ended up falling down after... <laughs> I remember this one. <laughs> in 2010, Titus O'Neil made his <laughs> I remember that one. That was, yeah. That, <laughs> that, that was just bad acting. Uh, he tried to save it. I mean, in fairness to Batista, you know, he, he tried to sell that it was just momentum. But I think he would have been better off if he was going to sell it as momentum, not taking the full bump. You know, when you, when he went down hands to the side the big slap and everything if it had just rolled through it i think it would have just made it look better you as a rookie on nxt the key <clears> word there <throat> is me. rookie on the final episode of season two of nxt cabal won the competition tyson o'neill as well as the other rookies rushed the ring and a brawl broke out i don't MVP know this one ran in and gave o'neill the player's boot but titus didn't sell it at all like i said rookie at least he gave us the world slide eight years later the main event of the 1996 oh, that's, um, series is that terrible act that's that's just missing your spot and Titus, I, I don't know titus o'neill so i'm not gonna say what he can and can't do but he has a reputation for for you know forgetting stuff being a little goofy sometimes and i don't say that in so a bad Shawn way Michaels i'm a little goofy title against psycho sid sid was bigger and i gotta tell you Sean, but, i gotta tell you guys my psycho sid story you like it but i didn't think he was this much stronger <laughs> Some of the most bizarre that was, stuff happens. Come on, that my, that was Michael's. That was Michael's overselling that on purpose. WWE goes no off doubt. The air. One match in 2005 saw Triple H and Ric Flair team up to take on Shawn Michaels <laughs> and Randy Orton. During the fight, Orton caught Triple H with a boot. The game stood there stunned and was unable to move for over yeah. a minute. Until yeah, this finally is finally falling down. This is the boys the screwing match, with each other. K clocked Ric Flair and Triple H's heads together, and the two took a long moment. I love this stuff. Down. <laughs> <laughs> and the Nature Boys performances were bad, but for all the right reasons. Seth yeah. And John Cena well, that's what I was wondering. A lot of these are, 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 again, are just the guys screwing around. I like that stuff. ...business for their tables match at TLC 2014. However, there was still room for some funny business. Cena gave Seth an attitude adjustment on the announcer's table. Michael Cole <laughs> was doing commentary and thankfully didn't get hit, but did faint from the excitement as he dramatically and gracefully fell out of his chair. <laughs> oh, jeez, Cole. <laughs> I hadn't seen that one before. Either. Cole even given a bad sell. I, I like the fact too that these guys, this whoever's making this video, this tap out corner, they're not trying to um, portray this as the guy screwing up in every situation. That they're, they're aware that it's boys being boys. Royal Rumble is to stay in the <clears throat> ring for as long as you can. Goldust must have forgotten that. No. During the 2006 Rumble match, the Bizarre One got kicked by RVD. Van Damme wasn't Dustin able to Rose eliminate Goldust, so freaking but funny. that's okay, because Goldust decided to just throw himself over the top rope. If you You don't get a more seasoned pro or a guy who knows the business more better than Dustin. I think he he probably was comfortable with that. Just like, ah, I'm just leaving. I don't think that was... A, a real fight, <laughs> I don't think he would. He's just figuring I'm out. Match ever. <clears throat> At SummerSlam, two wrestling icons, Hulk Hogan and Shawn Michaels, went one-on-one -on -one in a dream match. However, Shawn Michaels acted more like a fish out of water than a showstopper because he flipped and flopped all over the ring. Apparently, Shawn Michaels is mad because he yeah. and Hogan were supposed to have a rematch.
match where Sean would win. However, Hogan agreed only to do the one match where he won. I, th I was just going to say before he even filled me in, that I think is more of a case of sour grapes of some sort with Sean. Because that's not even funny. That That's just overselling to try. I'm not a fan of Shawn Michaels. I mean, I know he's come around a lot personality-wise. I don't like the way he was, and it leaves a bad taste. And I think Hulk Hogan was a terrible wrestler. But given all that, you're still out there to do not a literal job, but your job. And I, I, I'm not a big fan of that stuff. He's just trying to make Hogan this look made silly. The tick -off kid, because the Hogan can't work with Shawn Michaels. At that rate. 15 years later, and I think Hulk Hogan, Hogan would admit that. Opposite. In 2020, Ric Flair returned <clears> to <throat> WWE and began managing Randy Orton. The partnership was short-lived as the Viper decided he didn't need the Nature Boy and attacked Flair. The next week, <laughs> Shawn Michaels came out to confront Randy. However, HBK ended up getting an RKO from out of nowhere and a punk kick to the head. Despite receiving two devastating finishing moves, Shawn Michaels acted like he was just a little dizzy. Michaels got criticism from fellow wrestlers for this awful performance, and rightfully so. Well... Yeah, I don't remember. That. Yeah, that's kind of Sean's a Sean's a different animal. I I don't know. I won't pretend to know what's going through his head. But why would you do that? That's kind. Of, you're kind of shitting on somebody there. The stars of the shows. Two big moves like that, and you, you barely sell them. It's a dick move. Never be commentators do play an important role. The reaction <clears throat> can make moments feel big. But they can also do the opposite. Yeah, as seen by Todd good old JR. To Christian returning oh after God, he's broken in half. It, it's Christian. At the AEW Revolution pay-per-view in 2021, 13 different... So what, what are they... I, I, I missed a little of that. What are they saying there? They didn't try and put them over the opposite, As seen by Todd Christian's uh. reaction to Christian returning after over three years away. It, it's Christian. I don't think he was, uh, what do you guys think? I don't think he was trying to bury him. I think what I think what he was going for is let the crowd speak for it. And, and he was supposed to be stunned into silence. I don't, that's what I took from it. The AEW it. Revolution pay-per-view in 2021, 13 different tag teams competed in a casino battle royale match. One of the men participating was Evil Uno, but his elimination is what you want to see. Uno got hit by Hurricane Rana, but waited until after the move was finished to start running. It ended up looking like a Dark Order <laughs> member eliminated himself in the most cartoon way possible. Hulk Hogan... Okay, that one was funny. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to think. But why, why? At that point, you, you, are, you already blew the spot. Once you didn't respond immediately to the Hurricane Rana... the. Uh, okay, dude. <laughs> I like how he has to build up momentum and everything five seconds after the guys hit the floor. He might be one of those famous wrestlers of all time, but there's a reason he never took off as an actor. Oh. Oh, terrible. That, was that from his first... I went to the theater to watch his first movie and laughed my ass off throughout... I forgot what it, what it was called. But, oh. Tiny Lister in it. The reason the water wasn't hot was because it was... On an episode of AEW... He, he was terrible. I'm surprised he didn't ruin act, wrestlers going into acting for all eternity. Rock saved it. <laughs> the Young Bucks were taking on SCU. After the match, the Dark Order invaded the ring and started beating everyone up. Dustin Rhodes, a.k.a. Goldust, joined the fight but got attacked too. At least he was supposed to, but one of the Dark Order creatures... Oh, I saw that before. ...the air around Rhodes' head. In 2015... Yeah, I, I'm not sure what the goal was there. I understand in a in a cluster like that, you can get away with a lot because there's so much going on. But why... You never... You're on TV. You know the camera could be anywhere. Why would you not even... You know, Greeners, I would imagine. Team, Mark Henry was taking on Sheamus. The Celtic warrior eventually went for a bro kick that didn't come anywhere near Henry's head. Despite that, Mark still acted like it did. Christian is... I've seen more egregious ones than that. Their timing was just a little off. To be fair, Mark Henry, in that situation, I probably would have sold it too and hoped it. In that moment, you're hoping it looked good enough. Like I always used to, when we were training guys, I would always teach guys, especially about punches, Speed covers mistakes. 
That's why I'm trying to get guys. Don't throw that big uh, punch. You know, hit a bag a little bit. Get get good with throwing punches so you can throw it extremely fast and safe because speed an covers up a lot. He's wrestler, but even the very best have made mistakes. In 2006, Christian found himself in a fatal four-way match against Sting, Samoa Joe, and Scott Steiner. At one point, Steiner on here. grabbed Captain Charisma by the head, only for Christian to himself <laughs> into the edge of the ring. Don't you love it when the wrestlers beat themselves up? Despite... <laughs> Well, Scott Steiner was known for being really stiff. Maybe Christian just wanted to get his head heading towards there before Steiner could really, like, bounce it off there to where he crushed it like a melon. One of the most iconic WWE moments, Vince McMahon did a terrible job kicking the Stone Cold Stunner, uh, both in 1997 and in Yeah, I was going to say, Vince McMahon However, the award for the doing a terrible job. Terrible job of taking moves. In 2005, Stone Cold and that's not him being he went on screwing with the boys. Every single member of the McMahon family, including Linda. However, the former president of WWE did a terrible job taking Steve Austin's finishing move. To be fair, Linda wasn't a wrestler. John Cena, on the other hand. Yeah, I mean, if you're going to do that, if you're going to bring the whole family in, she, she's not a young woman at the time, and that's not her forte, you, you get what you figure you're going to get. has no excuse. At WrestleMania 34, two legends collided when John Cena took on The Undertaker. Despite them both being goats, there was a pretty bad spot. The dead man went for a big boot, and you could fit a truck in the space between Cena's head and Undertaker's foot. Of course, though... Surprised by that. Uh, that had to be, again, timing just off. Cena's not afraid to take shit. Cena acted like it hit him, even though the move clearly did it. Eva mm, Marie... That was pretty bad. And again, you do, you're going to do moves like this thousands of times. There's going to be times where you just aren't in sync. It's just like, again, any other sport form of entertainment. You, I, I don't hate on her for that. Looks like shit. Ever. And she I've had stuff like that happen to me. Over. In her raw debut, just Eva Marie screwed up. Had to say Timing just wasn't there. Sentences, and they both sounded terrible. You know, Jerry, I don't like how you're looking at me. My name is Eva Marie, and I'm here to make a name for myself. Not only that, but Oof. Eva then gave one of the worst slaps ever to Jerry Lawler. The that was lame. The mic work on the slap. Agreed. That was just awful. These moments have all been pretty bad, but check out this video to see some 1,000 IQ WWE moves. That was good. I, that's very entertaining. I enjoy this stuff. Hopefully you guys enjoy it along with me. Again, I, I'm when you watch these videos with me, I'm not going to shit on guys. Uh, unless they do something egregious, probably outside of what they do in the ring, as far as part of the business, because it happens. It happens to all of us. It's like the whole thing with Cena and Undertaker. They're amazing workers. Sometimes shit happens. <laughs> you just, you're not where I thought you were going to be. I'm not where you thought I was going to be. Oh, that looked like crap. <laughs>